Hi, welcome to Land of Chemistry. In this video, we are going to learn the sulfonation of chlorobenzene. Come on, let's learn the reaction. Here, chlorobenzene is going to react with concentrated sulfuric acid. This is chlorobenzene is going to react with concentrated sulfuric acid that is H2SO4. There are two possibilities for the reaction here. One is in the ortho position and another one is in the para position because this chlorobenzene is an ortho and para directing group. For our convenient, I am writing the sulfuric acid in this way HO and SO3H. If the reaction takes place in the ortho position, the hydrogen from the ortho position of the chlorobenzene and OH from the sulfuric acid will leave as H2O and this SO3H will attach to this ortho position. So we get Two chlorobenzene sulfonic acid. If the reaction takes place in the para position, the hydrogen from the para position of the chlorobenzene and OH from the sulfuric acid will leave as a water molecule, and this SO3H will replace this hydrogen, and we get a product like this, which is known as four chlorobenzene sulfonic acid. Come on, let's write the name for these structures. This is chlorobenzene. Reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. We get a mixture of product that is the ortho isomer and a para isomer. The name of this compound is 2 chlorobenzene sulfonic acid. And this is 4 chloro benzene sulfonic acid. Come on, let's summarize the reaction. When chlorobenzene is sulfonated, that is, concentrated sulfuric acid is added to the chlorobenzene, we get a mixture of product that is an ortho isomer and a para isomer. The ortho isomer, the name of this compound is 2 chlorobenzene sulfonic acid, and the para isomer, the IUPAC name of this compound is 4 chlorobenzene sulfonic acid. Here, the major product is the para isomer, and the minor product is the ortho isomer. Thank you.